Welcome back. Are you ready to grow great kids? I am. What are our three words to growing great kids? Affirming, stretching, and celebrating. We can't get to the other two though unless we've affirmed. So we're going to talk about affirmation today and how do we affirm our kids. They will not stretch with us unless they feel like they're affirmed. So we have to use their strength and then we can stretch their struggle. So how do we affirm kids? I think the simplest way to understand that is to recognize how they are uniquely and individually different and gifted. So the simplest way to do that is to clasp your hands together and you're going to do it probably the same way every time. You're going to clasp your hands together, but if you look down, which thumb is on top, left or right? Guess what? It doesn't matter. There's nothing, no research that tells me left-handed or left-thumbed people are any smarter than right-thumbed people or vice versa. It's interesting for kids to note though, they did this in their mother's womb and they've been doing it that way ever since. So this is how they do it. But if we ask our kids to do it the opposite way, try it yourself, clasp your hands, your fingers the opposite way, you're probably gonna go something's wrong. It feels weird, it's awkward, it doesn't fit, it's wrong. It wasn't wrong for the person who did it that way the first time though, was it? So we have to affirm kids for who they are, for how they are designed, how they're smart, and how they struggle. So when you have that affirmation, then they're willing to stretch. Then we can say, hey good, that's the way you do it, but maybe we wanna to stretch to something else. So affirming means to, to affirm how they're smart, how they think. Once you've affirmed them, then we can stretch them. Next time, I'll talk about stretching.